Hello everyone, this is my tutorial on how to work with um, aluminium. Uh, I have here um, 0 0.2 aluminium sheets and um, this is meant to cover the um, bulkhead of the 1.8 scale DeLorean model. I have here the both bulkheads. Uh, it's the same technique, it, it will uh, work on both. So uh, you can just keep the stock one and uh, cover it in aluminium or uh, the custom one I created that is uh, fully accurate and um, it will work the same on both. So uh, in order to start, what I uh, would like to show you is the materials that I'm using. I'm using a ruler and what I've done is I've covered the backside with uh, masking tape. This is in order to uh, protect the aluminium when I'm uh, cutting so that the metal doesn't touch the surface of the aluminium directly so it will always be protected by this uh, by this masking tape. What you will uh, need, what I'm using is um, a drill bit set, a hand drill um, like uh, this one. I will put the link to the um, eBay auction where I purchased mine um, in the description of the video so if you want to purchase it too uh, if you don't have it in your um, hobby collection then uh, it's um, very uh, well worth to to buy it because um, you will use it uh, on many occasions so this is always good to have so um, there are drill bits starting from 0 0.4 until something like 3 and um, I also have a uh, number four because this one will also be used and I will explain that later. What I also have here is um, is the template. The template that you can find in the file sections of my Facebook group. Um, it doesn't have the holes on it. Um, you actually don't need the holes and I will explain that also later. You don't need the holes because you will be drilling from the um, um, from the other side, from the rear side, and um, you can do it all by just using the drills. But I will uh, mention that I'm going to make um, another one which mentions which diameter um, uh, drill you need for each hole, so uh, that will be clear for you as well. Um, I also have a pair of scissors, a hobby knife and another hobby knife, two, two hobby knives. And I'm also using this um, 3M uh, magic tape and I like this tape very much because uh, it doesn't leave any residue on your um, yeah on your and the part you apply it to so you can uh, remove it without uh, having any uh, sticky uh, stuff on your on your part so that's good and finally you will also need a um, piece of um, Piece of, piece of uh, sandpaper. I have here a grid 400. I folded it double and I also have uh, this. This is another, this is a very nice Japanese sander. Um, it's actually the same as this. So it doesn't matter which one you use. I use this one because it's it's a little bit uh, easier to, uh, to, to use. Um, you can also uh, take like a wooden block and then tape some uh, uh, sanding paper on it and it will be more or less the same idea as this. This is one is easy to hold in your hand and stuff like that. So um, let's start. So as I told you the um, templates, make sure when you print it that it's um, not scaled, Does it doesn't have any automatic scaling. I've got some reports from people saying that their uh, PDF viewer had some uh, automatic uh, checks uh, that were doing some scaling on it. So if you see anything that says like um, auto scaling or stuff like that, just uncheck until you see that it's not uh, scaled. So when you uh, print it out, it will be exactly the same size as um, as the bulkhead, so you can uh, work with it. So. Uh, first of all, I'm going to uh, cut the panels. I'm not going to do all three of them because that's a lot of work. What I will uh, do is do the middle one to explain you the principles on how to do this. And then uh, I will also explain you how to do a rectangular holes like this one. And um, 
yeah, let's start. So now I'm cutting the template out. And while I'm doing this, uh, I must mention that on the um, DeLorean A-car, uh, the bulkhead was made of three separate panels. And that's why um, I would recommend you not to make one piece, but three separate uh, parts that are also uh, easier to handle and also easier to apply. So, I don't know if you noticed, this is the center panel. It has a slight curve in it. And in order to, um, to achieve this slight curve, we will use the sanding paper to sand the aluminum on the side, but that will come later. So what we will do now is I'm going to apply this uh, to, the, to the aluminum sheet and I'm going to cut it out. So in order to do that, I'm going to use the magic tape one tip um, fold a little bit of the magic tape like this double so it doesn't stick the um, the entirely on the back of the on the part because if it does then um, you will have a hard time removing it so that's why I folded it so it will be easier when removed so I'm trying to also uh, use as much as I can uh, make use as much as I can of the angles of the um, of this sheet because uh, I know that this is fully straight. So now I'm going to fold it and tape it here. Yes, this is good. Then I'm going to continue on the other two sides and then we will cut it. not entirely satisfied with this so I'm going to reposi reposition it a little bit because uh, the top upper corner here should reach that better I think but I have to start on this side so let me see a little lower Yes, now it's good. Oh, it's sticking to it already a little bit. Yes, this is good because you see this uh, upper corner needs to be exactly uh, in line. So now I'm going to tape it back and this is good. So now we're going to cut it. So, um, well, now we have the aluminum. I'm going to take this knife and I'm going to cut and I will cut the whole panel and I will give you some tips on what's easier to do. So you have this knife, I'm going to go a few times over it, yeah, now do not push too much on it, it's just until you have a nice, you see here a nice, yeah, scratch to see it, you see it on this side too. And now in order to, you don't have to cut it entirely through. So what you do now is just bend the material slightly, one side, and you will see that it will break eventually like this. And it will also give you a very nice edge. So that is, 
cutting in on one part. But what you will also see is that now this part is uh, loose. So we will need to retape it again, but we can do that later. Doesn't need to, if you are working with a sheet that uh, you need to cut multi multiple times, you need to redo the, the tape. But in this case, uh, we're almost done with it. So one more time. This is a straight line as well. Just cut like three, four times till you see the line. And then you can gently break it off. So now we have the aluminum. Okay, so I'm going to use my um, custom uh, bulkhead in order to show you how to uh, do the rest. So I have the, the part here. First thing to do is to tape it in place. So I'm going to take some more tape, a little longer this time. And I would say, and let me see, it doesn't have to be really exact at this point, as long as, let me see, it must be well aligned with the uh, fold line. So if you are watching this, you put the end of it on the fold line. But when you start, I would suggest that you start on this side, then do this uh, the middle panel as a second one, and this as a third one. So after you have placed um, the first panel, then you put this panel against it, so you don't have a gap in between them. So they are uh, neatly one against each other. So I will do again the same folding here in order to remove it easier later. Well, and if you have cut it correctly, then you can also align it on the bottom. So you see that this side, it doesn't move. Uh, make sure that it doesn't move beyond the line. So you keep this side and this side aligned, then you can tape it. Well, now it's more or less uh, fixed. And what you can see when you now, that we have some material that it's, I'm not sure it's really visible on the camera, but there is some material that needs to be sanded off. So for that, I will use the sander and just put your thumb here in order to press it down because it will go up and down. So um, you don't want it to bend because this is a very thin material and it will bend. So it's also very easy to to sand this material on the side and to give it a nice curve. So at some point you might want to remove this tape here because the curve is a little bit like this. You remove the tape, you remove this tape and then you move it on the other side and then you can send this side as, uh, as well until you have the nice curve. I'm almost there on this side. Yeah, you can see now that it's, um, let me see, it's perfect. It doesn't stick uh, anymore on this side, so it's uh, completely as it should be. So now I will explain you the how to do the holes. So I have the material here. So let's start with, uh, let's say the small holes. This one, for example. I'm 
Yep. This is the hole for the uh, torrent blower, the one small pin. If you are using the EM part for this, then you make this hole. If you are not, then you don't have to do it. Um, if you are using Martin's part for the torrent blower, then you can just um, not make this hole in the aluminium, but I will make it in order to show you how it goes. So I'm uh, putting one finger on this side, I'm like counterbalancing it. And then I'm, I have here a 1.5 millimeter uh, drill bit, which I will use to make this hole. If you don't know how big the holes are, what you can do is just insert uh, drill bits from of uh, several size and see if they fit. Then you can use them. If they don't fit, then then you can't use it. You can't use them if they are too big to say so. So this is the 1.5. I'm going to put my finger on this side, and then I'm going to drill. And this is something that. Um, you just want to gently drill through it and don't put too much pressure on it because it will bend the material on the other side and that's why I'm also uh, keeping it with a finger. So it takes um, a little bit until you're on the other side of the material. This uh, requires a lot of patience, so you must go slow and be patient until you are on the other side. You can remove the uh, material that comes loose from time to time just to make sure you have a clean area and clean parts. And I'm almost getting through and I hope you are seeing this is coming on the other side. So um, now it's a matter of. getting completely through it's almost there so now I'm going very slow so I have I'm now on the other side <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is so you see that the material bends on this side I'm going to put it back and then Drill again from this side a little bit until, until I'm completely through. And now you can see that there's a very nice, perfect hole there. Um, and actually that's the, the whole principle of working with this material. So, now I'm going to show you something else because there also there's also um, for the holes that you can just drill through. It's um, easy, but there are some holes like this that are like half through, and you have like the um, the center hole is smaller, and then you have only on this side you have a larger hole that's only like half through the material. So how you do this, this is actually the same as uh, this one, but now you will, we will have to use two separate drill bits. So I'm starting with, um, I'm changing the drill bit and I'm putting a two millimeters uh, on it. And let's do, um, for example, this one on the top side, make sure it, the material doesn't move. So you have tape correctly. If you, think one is not enough then just uh, add another one and this will make it make it even more stable because it's jiggling a little bit so I'm folding it again in order to be able to remove it easy later okay so now it's on now it's Solid. So I'm starting. Let's do this hole here. This is for one of the two uh, golden relays that are located on this side. So 
I'm starting with um, two. I'm I, I'm sure that the, that this uh, this is the right size. This uh, hole is two millimeters in diameter. So I will drill this hole first. There it goes. Good. This was the two millimeter, and now this is the most tricky part because now you will have to use a four millimeter drill here. It's a hole that is exactly the same as this one, but now you will have to be very careful so that you don't get into the material when you are drilling through it. So. You have to do it really slow, not to um, not to damage the material, not to bend it, and I'm going to remove this and put it a little bit more on this side to have a better access to that hole. Okay, so now I'm going to start drilling. See if this, I, I don't think it fits. Maybe it fits in the holder. Otherwise I'll do it by hand, no problem. But if it fits, yeah, it fits. Okay, then it's easier to do it like this. So I've done some by hand and some with the, okay, so um, now this must be done really slow, no pressure on it. So go slow and with no pressure. You want that hole to be very um, round because you will see that the um, drill is going to make it oval if you don't, if you put too much pressure on it. So you want it really a nice uh, round hole. You can see it uh, becoming larger and, and larger. Unfortunately, uh, this hole is uh, hidden behind um, one of the golden relays. So if you, uh, if it's not a perfect hole, then it doesn't matter too much because it won't be that visible. But there are some holes that you don't want to uh, you, do you want you don't want to screw up. So I'm drilling slowly, removing the swerve <laughs> from time to time, and continuing drilling. See that I'm almost there. Okay, so this is almost through. Yeah, 
yes, now it's going through. So, I think I'm going to remove it now in order to protect the material because I, if I drill further through that hole, then it's going to go into the plastic as well. So it will, it will damage the plastic as well. You make the hole bigger than it needs to be. So now if I'm going to do this very carefully, it should just, and there is the big hole. So this one was, this, the bigger holes are like the most difficult ones. The smaller ones are easy. I think um, this one went really well. So it's like very nice. Oh, one of the best that I've done, it's covered. So there's some material here. So what you can also do is uh, push it back into the hole a little bit on the backside. Make sure you don't touch the material too much. I'm trying to hold it with my fingers on the part that is taped because that's protected. I'm going to do this again to remove this. And what you can also do in the end is take the hobby knife and <clears throat> just cut the, this stuff off. So this side, doesn't matter if you make scratches on this side because it will be there on the rear side of the panel. So that doesn't, that's not a problem. You won't see this, but you want to remove this because you want it to be fully flesh on the bulkhead when you put it. So now it's nice and flush and there's no material protruding. So if you can see, this is a very nice clean hole with, no, oh, it was like this, sorry. It's a very nice clean hole. And that's how you make those half through holes. So you start with the um, from the back with a two millimeter drill and then you go from the front and you use the four millimeter drill until you get the hole. And this is actually <clears throat> the whole idea. It doesn't get any um, more difficult than this. And it's actually easy, but it's very time consuming. So I hope this video encourages you to, to make your own. And if you have the time, then uh, I would say make one because it looks so much better with, with an aluminum sheet on top of it. Now, I'm going to explain how to do the rectangular hole. Um, it's actually the same way you take an aluminum sheet and then you place it on top, which will be the, the same uh, size as the whole part here, the bulkhead. You place it on top and you will have uh, this rectangular hole and then you start again from the back side. And what I would suggest is that you make four holes with a drill bit that's, um, well, two millimeter to start with. You keep it on the, um, on the edges and you make in the corners. In each corner, you make one hole. So you make four holes. Then you remove the sheet. You remove the sheet and you place it on the cutting mat. And then what I would also suggest is that you uh, use some masking tape to protect the hole. So you actually tape on the front side the hole like on all sides. And after you have put the masking tape around the hole, the rectangular hole here, then you can gently 
cut it. So you go with your ruler on top of the material, not on top of the, this plastic part, but I mean, you remove the aluminium, you lay it flat on a table, you tape uh, the rectangular hole that's in between those four holes that you made. And then you just gently cut it with a knife. So uh, for this one, you can count, you wiggle it off or break it off like you did in, uh, like we did before. So you will have to cut um, fully through. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect because the uh, Christmas tree that comes on top here is quite um, wide. So it will cover this hole. So it's if it's not perfect, it will not matter uh, that much. So don't worry about that. So, um, yeah, I think that concludes the tutorial on how to make the um, aluminum sheets. Uh, maybe one last tip when you're making this uh, final panel, the third one, I would say, because you see there are some, again, some round corners uh, on it when you place it on top of the aluminium and you cut it try to cut it um, like this would say um, the bigger lines we, you cut it you cut first like this then you cut this part off let's say let me see if this is better explain this way you cut it like this then you will have a little protruding edge on that side because of the way you've cut it so um, that part you will have to go and sand again until you have it fully um, in the same shape as the bulkhead so I would suggest after you cut it you place it on the bul bulkhead and then you sand it while it's on here because as soon as you fill the material, you will know that you have to stop because then you have the right shape for this. So that's kind of it. So good luck everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. And um, good luck with your build. One thing I uh, forgot to tell you, so that's why I'm um, adding this to the video, is that, um, well, I've got some questions uh, about whether I, whether you need to glue the um, separate panels in place or not. So I will tell you that um, this panel I didn't glue in place at all. It's kept in place only by the parts because when you have the holes with the panel and you insert a, a part into it, like a heat sink in this case, then you screw it in place and it will keep the aluminum sheet in between. Um, it works like a sandwich to say so. So um, here this part is not glued on at all uh, and on this side I had um, just a small thing that it this corner was detaching somehow from it so here I applied a little bit of super glue when I glued um, this panel uh, especially this side that is not supported by I'm talking about the middle panel is not supported by any uh, part on that side. I've glued it onto the bulkhead and I've done the same with this part, especially this corner and um, this side. So this should be the end result after you apply the aluminum. So I hope you like what you see and uh, I'm sure that you will be able to create this as well and I wish you good luck again. So until next time, bye.